Welcome to this video on designing a Neo4j graph database. When you're designing a graph database, you have to realize that the main components of the database are nodes and relationships. Now, what this means is that it's very easy to design a Neo4j database when you have an entity relationship diagram, which is a standard practice in database design. So let's take a look at what we can do. When you start off thinking about a Neo4j database, you want to ask yourself a few fundamental questions to get started. What kind of nodes do I need to create? You want to assign nodes. You want nodes to have different labels to represent different objects or different things. And then for every type of node, what should their attributes be? What are some of the properties that are important uh, information about these nodes? Then you want to ask yourself what relationships can exist between these nodes and if any of those relationships have attributes and if so what are they so let's take it let's try to design a database maybe we'll design a car database so this might this entity will be car one and this entity will be car number two and i'll have five cars on my lot car three, car four, and car five. Now, we're going to be building a, a relationship diagram, but unlike an ER diagram, which works against entity types, you only would show car once in the ER diagram. In a Neo4j network diagram, you're going to show the entities themselves, not the entity types. So if there are five cars, you can visually depict five cars. Well, now that we have cars, um, what do we have going on? Well, we might have mechanics. So here's mechanic. We'll call him mechanic A. And then we might have another mechanic, mechanic B. And what are the relationships between mechanics and cars? Well, mechanics can serve as cars. So we will, I'll just abbreviate that SVC. Mechanic A would serve as car one. Maybe mechanic B would serve as car three. And maybe car four. And car five. So they're performing some maintenance on these cars. But in addition to that, mechanics can also do other things. Mechanics can inspect cars. So mechanic A, in addition to servicing car one, might have a second relationship with it. He might inspect car one. Mechanic A might also inspect car two. And maybe even car three. So we have two kinds of nodes here, mechanics and cars. Well, we wouldn't be much of a car shop without customers. So we may have may build some customers. This is customer Alice. This might be customer Bob. And this might be customer Chuck. And customers interact with cars. So what do they do? Well, they test drive them. So maybe Alice goes to the dealership and she test drives car one. Maybe she also test drives car two, and maybe also car three. Bob may, may test drive car two. Maybe that's all Bob test drives. Chuck may test drive car four and car three. Uh, but in addition to test driving, what else do customers, how else do they relate to cars? Well, if the test drive is successful, they may purchase the car. So Chuck may decide, you know, I really do like car four, and I'm going to purchase that. So now I've drawn relationships between my customers and the cars. And finally, you may want to add into this network salespersons. So here's salesperson. 
fill. And here is salesperson Joan. And Joan uh, has a relationship with Chuck. Um, what's the relationship between a salesperson and a customer? Well, if you've been to a car dealership, you know that they tend to claim you. So Joan sees Chuck walk in, Joan claims Chuck. Uh, Joan may also have claimed Bob. And Phil may have claimed Alice. So this is what, how you would begin to build out your network. You build it out with, the, with some of the instances that you see. And from this point, it's very easy to create the Neo4j database because you'll just create the nodes that you need, the relationships that you need with a series of create statements. And there's another video on my channel that shows you how to do that.